Flame! Flame! <laughs> I need to get my energy up. Guys, thank you so much for watching Flambe. Please, let... <laughs> that was disgusting. Ew. It was a weird burp. It was like gurgly. Ew. <laughs> eh, sorry about that. Hi guys, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni. Today we're going to be making crispy skin salmon. If you are terrified of fish skin, do not be. Getting a nice crispy skin on your fish can add so much texture and flavor to your dish. So today we're gonna attempt to cook our fish without overcooking it, but still achieving a crispy skin. Let's do the thingy. Shall we start? I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. In the same way I need a button, like for the end of the videos, so I feel like I should have one at the beginning. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous color. I just left it in the fridge. I just wanted to dehydrate a little bit. So I have a paper towel, I wanna to pat it dry. This is gonna really, really help with the crisping process. The crisping process. Is that the official term for this? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna season it on both sides. Salt, this is really coarse salt. Pepper. Some people do not season it before throwing it into the pan. I don't mind a little burnt black pepper flavor. Most importantly, the skin side. Be generous. Again, black pepper. The salmon kind of needs a babysitter when it's on the skillet, so let's get the dressing done, get it out of the way, and then we can move over to the stove. Take your shallot. Chop off the, the what is this called? Like the top bit, the tendril thing where the green shoots out of the tunic. The tunic. It's called a tunic, so like the Tunic. Yeah. What did I say? The attire, like wearing a tunic. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the other side is called the basil plate. The basil plate? Yeah, that's like a word in anatomy a lot. Oh, basil. For basil. What is it used for? So the basal body is an organelle that forms the basic flagellum or cilium. So, so flagellum and cilium are like on um, cells or microorganisms. They have these like like hair-like things that actually help them move and like catch off the stuff and stick to stuff. It's usually moving stuff around on the outside of the they're in bacteria. They're in bacteria? This is far beyond my understanding and desire. Like a lot of stuff has it. Like in humans, a lot of our cells have that. Okay. Good to know that our flagellum has basal body. Okay, well first I'm gonna slice off the tunic. <laughs> this was the basal plate? The part? Right. The root is the tunic? Oh, 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 sorry. Come on, Ariadne. This is basic anatomy. We're just gonna mince this into really, really small pieces. I hope I like shallot because there's a lot. <laughs> Got this. Now this is a whole lemon dressing. Whole lemon dressing is very, very popular nowadays. So I'm gonna do a little spin on the ones I've seen. You wanna slice enough of the ends off so you can see the interior of the citrus, the pulpy goodness inside. Just drag your knife straight down, cut that. Turn it, cut the skin. Cool. So we have like a cube, rectangular prism thing. I'm just using my left hand here to catch any seeds that may have fallen. This, this lemon skin, I've already washed it. We're just gonna go through and dice it. We're gonna literally use the whole lemon in this. In like one centimeter strips. I'm gonna arrange them like so. You're totally allowed to have your hand on one side of the blade. You're actually supposed to bounce it like this. You're supposed to like, like a rocking boat. A little bit of mustard, a little bit of honey. I kind of want to toast this garlic. Inspiration has struck. All right, this is hot. Olive oil. Let that heat up. I just have like one basil leaf here. I'm just gonna shred this with a knife. Not literally shred, but chop it up. I just want like basil essence. I don't want it to be an overwhelming flavor in this, in this sauce salsa. Do our garlic. 
I feel like raw garlic can be very offensive. So I'm just kind of taming it a little bit, getting the very, very intense garlic, kind of like the stuff that makes your jaw like lock, that flavor of garlic out. That's it. I literally toasted it for one second. Just a little, it's just slightly, slightly browned. Now I'm gonna toss it in. It does not need too much. I'm gonna throw in some olive oil. Oh, I almost forgot the apple. Wow, okay. I don't think I'm gonna use the whole thing. I'm gonna use some of it. Do I want skin in this? I guess I put lemon skin. Apple skin is not gonna kill us. So garlic, shallot, mustard, they have like very, very intense, sour, sharp flavors. So I wanted to balance it out with you know, a little sweetness with honey and apple. Hmm. Finish up with the olive oil. Awesome. Definitely could use actually a little surprising, a little more pepper. Salt. Very, very important. I only used a quarter apple, you don't need much. I mean, why not? Let's add another half. So it's sitting here. It's that chunky salsa. Wow. Everything just like hits in different waves. That's so yummy. Mmm. That has a very strong point of view. Mmm. Yum. Oh my goodness. Okay. Does it need anything else? I'm curious. I want to set like a little aside in a bowl. It like unifies everything. You want a bite? Do you see what I mean? The way you described it was really good. How each thing comes differently. Yeah. Like, in, it really comes in waves. Yeah. Upon experimentation, I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of rice vinegar. Not too much, truly. That's it, that's all it needs. Mmm, it's so good. I'm sorry, I'm really excited. I think it, it kind of blends together the acidity of all the other components really, really nicely. Light this bad boy. I'm also gonna make some green beans on the side over here. So I'm gonna start heating up this pan. We're gonna go slow and steady to win this race. Olive oil. I'm gonna take our green beans, I'm just gonna roast them in here. Salt. A little pepper. I'm also adding just a little bit of chili powder for some heat. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil over here to finish it off, just a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna turn off the flame and just let the garlic cook with the residual heat. I'm gonna take our salmon Lay it down. Press it down right here. The protein's gonna start contracting. So you wanna make sure that as it curls, you can push it back down so it makes contact with this pan. You can already see how quickly this is cooking. We're gonna cook this most of the way on this one side and just flip it and finish it off on the other. So we'll let that do its thing over here. Let's see how this turned out. Uh -huh. mm. I like these to be cooked and roasted just a little bit, but still have snap and bite to them. I don't like mushy green beans. I'm gonna move it, center the flame over the fat part of the fish, just because this is cooking more quickly on this side compared to this side, you know, it's a thinner slab. If you look on the side of the salmon, you can see how much it's cooked through. It's cooked most of the way, I'm gonna flip it now. To finish it, not too long. I'm turning the flame off. Our salmon is off the pan. I didn't cook it all the way through. Residual heat always does this thing with meats. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it over. I'm gonna cover it with just a little bit of pink salt. I want something more fine for this. A little more delicate to finish. Mm. Oh man, I do not like. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I just feel like my soul is dying inside. Cut. I realized when I took them off the pan and I cut them and then I plated them, that it creates kind of, kind of like this weird texture along the edge of the fish. 
I wanted to see if I could get it as smooth as possible, cut it before we cook it, and hopefully that creates a more finished edge for plating. Salmon, take eight. All right, pull this off the stove. I'm so much happier with it. Skin is singed, it is burnt to a crisp. I'm thrilled about that. We have much cleaner lines along the salmon. Before there were like jagged edges, but now because we cut it before we threw it on the stove top, it's much more presentable now. It's better for, it's better to plate. This is our take two salmon. I think it looks pretty beautiful. It's the crispy salmon skin. Let's give this a taste taste. Tends to be a fairly unforgiving fish if it's overcooked. A lot of people worry that their salmon will come out dry. What I love about this salsa is that it can rehydrate everything. It's just, it's just good. It's such a juicy sauce. I mean, it makes the salmon, even if it's dry and you overcook it, it's so tasty. It's really, really yummy. And green beans are great too. Mm. If you're looking at it from like a color perspective, the red of the salmon, and the green of the green beans, it looks beautiful together. I, I just can't recommend this enough. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like below. Let me know in the comments, what other things do you want me to make? What are your grandmother's recipes with her secret ingredients that you would love to share with me? I'll make it. My name is Yanni and thank you for watching Flambe. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Oh God, that's such a mean thing. Catchphrase, I'm not gonna use that one. Would it be crazy to share that I went in and hand-picked every green bean to make sure it was photo appropriate? My name is Jan, mm -hmm. claw, like dinosaur hands. It looks fine. <laughs> it feels weird.